small update, I got the Sony a7R III and the new 12 to 24 G series lens. I also have the 2470 G Master and 1635 is the one I had uh, a while ago. Now I bought this mainly as a stills camera. So I'm, I sold my Canon. I used to use Canons for stills. Um, I'm using the a7R III for stills. Um, but if you're wondering about the video, I think the video is great on the a7R III, 4K. Um, but there's no slow motion at 4K. You have to go to HD. And when you go to HD, it looks pretty soft. Uh, I haven't tested it side by side. It looks much softer than the a6500. I don't know if it has to do with the full frame or just this camera specifically has way too me many megapixels that when it downscales to HD, it just looks soft. So for those reasons, I, I still prefer my GH5. Um, I prefer the Micro Four Thirds sensors in a lot of cases over full frame. And that has to do with, you know, infinity focus, hyperfocal distance, smaller sensor, uh, all that stuff. But anyways, um, as a video camera, I, th I thought I'd just, you know, play around with it. And uh, I got the 12 to 24. I thought I'd take it out, uh, see what it could do. This is the uh, Kame TV Profit gimbal here. Um, you can use any gimbal that can carry this weight and a wide angle lens will mask all your movement, your up, down, your side to side. Everything just looks smooth at extreme, extreme wide angles. Um, but here's what it looks like on here. And then you can, you notice I have the um, LCD flipped out here and we still have clearance behind uh, the gimbal and, or behind at the roll motor. And when we go uh, inverted mode, um, you know, that, that angle of the LCD is handy because you have to look down as you're kind of following or tracking. Um, let me power this off, show you guys that it is totally balanced if you guys are wondering. Um, so here it's off. We have it balanced this way. We have it balanced at the roll as well. And obviously the tilt and then the pan. So um, it works. It works well on this gimbal. If you guys have this gimbal, this is a good lens to use with the uh, a7R 3 if you want that super, super extreme wide angle. Now, I wouldn't use it on a client project, but it is fun to just kind of run and see everything move so quickly and have so much in frame. But the fact that you can punch into 24 millimeters, uh, I'll probably use this between 16 and 20 millimeters. Uh, the fact that you could zoom in and out and it doesn't physically change the lens means it's not throwing off your balance where as like the 16 to 35 here, when you uh, zoom in and out, it gets a little bit longer. So it'll kind of uh, change balance. And then, you know, the 2470 as well is that if you zoom in and out, it gets a little bit longer. So that changes the balance of uh, your gimbal. But here we could zoom in and out. So here's 12. And then if I zoom to 24, um, there's no difference in physical dimension or, or it doesn't shift any of the weight or balance. So uh, that's that works out pretty cool. Anyways, um, here's a quick sample with the 12 to 24, me chasing my daughter around. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Yeah, so that was my first test. Um, pretty fun lens so far, and uh, I'm hoping to do more. But if you guys have any questions about this stuff, I'll have a link below this video and also on the blog, cheesycam.com.